Time for another vlog test, you guys. Let's go. Another day, another camera vlog test. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isana's Tech, where we do tech in your life and style. Today's video is me running around the streets of London, testing out the cameras of the Samsung S23 Ultra. But before we get to the video, I want to talk about these Anchor chargers, which are perfect for the S23 Ultra. This is the Anchor 313 and the Anchor 312. Let's start off with the 313, which is a 45 watt charger. This thing is so tiny and compact, and also I love that the plug just folds in. <laughs> it's actually smaller by 30% than the actual 45 watt charger Samsung used to include with their phones. This thing supports 45 watt super fast charging 2.0, which means you fully charge the big battery on the Ultra in under an hour. The 312 is slightly bigger but also very compact and it has the same folding plug. This 25 watt brick is perfect for your S23. So these things are tiny and they pack power, literally 45 watts and 25 watts. But there are also safety features on here. There's like short circuit protection, high voltage protection, and temperature control to make sure that nothing goes wrong while you're charging. And by the way, that smaller 313 45 watt charger is powered by GAN technology, which is why it's smaller, but it packs a punch. These bricks are now my go-tos for travel because they're so easy to pack and, well, even for everyday use. Anyway, if you're looking to get the S23 Ultra or the S23 phones, these are perfect accessories to that or actually to any phone. If you want to get these Anchor chargers, I'll link everything down in the description box including all info I have on these. Right, back to the video. So we're testing out the best of the best cameras of the S23 lines. This phone's main shooter is a 200 megapixel camera. There's a 12 megapixel wide, a 10 megapixel telephoto, and a 10 megapixel periscope lens. On the front facing camera, this phone features a 12 megapixel selfie shooter. And Samsung has been touting AI in bettering their camera performance. They specifically emphasize better night selfies, better night selfie video. And I did test these cameras out in low light specifically. I have a dedicated video on that. I'll link it up here and down below if that's something you'd want to watch. And yes, you guys, I heard you. I will have a social media test on this. That's coming. Meantime, in this video, I run around and see just what these cameras can do. Walking and talking. Hello, you guys. I am in London and we're just out to explore today. So I'm going to be vlogging with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Front facing camera this time. This is 4K in 30 FPS. 4K 30 on the rear. This is me again walking and talking. You have wide 1X, 3X, 10X. And because this is the Ultra, guys, of course, wait, let me stop. It's gonna zoom in up until 20x. You see how far that is way right there. And this is what that looks like on wide. It's that far out. And since we're gonna be walking and talking, this is super steady mode on wide. This is still 4K. You can do 1x as well. And again, I'm still doing the same walk. And this is how that looks like on steady video. Oh, and by the way, there's Ultra HD 60 FPS as well. And this is what that looks like. I know I'm not going to be exporting this video on 60 FPS, but it's good to see how cameras like change or process different resolutions in video. Crossing the street. <laughs> Better not get run over. I didn't catch it, but I was trying to zoom into that dog because he wouldn't walk on his leash. It was the cutest thing ever. I am by myself. This is how we're gonna take selfie OOT days with the S Pen.
Ultra HD 60 FPS this time. It can zoom up until 10x. <laughs> it's lit. So this is one of the things I like about Samsung phones. It lets you do that flip while recording. But yeah, let me get back to the video sample. Okay, Ultra HD 60 FPS zooming in up until 10 back to one you have to pause it though to go to wide ultra hd wide this time zooming in up until 2x and then back to wide to prove a point you can also do 8k and this is what that looks like zooming into 6x back to 1x no wide let's go back to shooting 4k 30. i honestly don't know where i am i'm just exploring at this point found this art gallery and I'm a sucker for art gallery so we're gonna go inside and see what's up. It's starting to drizzle, so I'm walking back to the hotel so I can head out again. Fully rested up. We are headed to the London Bridge, Tower Bridge. Let's go. I'm lost again, but as with any traveling, like 50% of it all, well, in my case, like 80% of it is me being lost. So, I sort of have to be okay with being lost. It happens. Okay, where is this bridge? This was not my destination, but I got a little distracted by all of this, so back to the bridge. You guys, I found it! Okay, actually not the London Bridge, it is the Tower Bridge. I just learned this. <laughs> Right, I uh, realized that these little lights are gonna look good when they're blurred out by a bokeh. So this is also portrait video. This is what that looks like. And of course, defeating the purpose behind me is the London Bridge, but portrait video. It's looking good. And also this is shooting in 4K. So that's portrait video, front facing camera, 4K. Rear cameras this time, still shooting on portrait mode. How does that look? Ah, such a pretty place though. So 
So I got in the wrong place. I almost got on the wrong trains. We're in the metro, not the underground. There's a difference. This is normal 4K walking and shooting. Let's see how well low light is when it comes to steady mode. Steady mode this time and this is what that looks like in low light. Off to dinner now. I'm meeting a friend so should be fun. So this is my friend Shaky. Hi. Hi guys. Anyway, we ordered drunken pork thinking that it would be like marinated cooked in. or marinated in alcohol. No, we get the alcohol. <laughs> shots, shots, shots. <laughs> Now these photos aren't part of the vlog but I needed to show you guys because these are amazing examples of the S23 Ultra output. It is still one of the best phones for zooming in on stuff as you can see in these photos. And that was our S23 Ultra vlog test. Let me know how you think these cameras did. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.